Ta-da! I finally found one of my Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. There was one left in, in the store here in Canada called Hudson's Bay. They came back and they're all gone again. And I also, there's a lot of hype about this Chanel bronzer, the darker one, so I thought I would try this one. Hopefully it's good and it doesn't uh, go too warm on me. And I went to Costco today and I found uh, these Olay Regenerists that I've been using for years in the daytime as my moisturizer in the day. And I usually pay about 20 to 25 for one of them at Walmart and I got two of them for 28. So that was a good bargain. So I'm gonna try to see if this is gonna be good for me. We'll see. So look how dark it is. It looks like chocolate pudding. Let's see if I put my finger. Oh, I hate using it, and if it's no good, I have to return it. But I have to. What can you do, right? You gotta test it. Now with COVID, you can't even test anything. So let's see what color it goes on. So I think it might be good. I mean, it does have a warmth tone to it. It's hard to see in these lights. Till it's on your face, you'll never know, right? But it looks like a good color. Look at this beauty. It's so bright and fabulous. And I know it looks crazy, but it's not when it's when it's on your face. It's more of a blue toned pink. And I need that because I oxidize and turn orange, even with pink colors. So this one should be good. I mean, I tried it once, I bought it, and then I started, you know, doubting it, thinking, oh, I've got something similar, but it really wasn't. So I'm glad I got it back. Now, can you tell what I'm talking about? How it's more of a blue pink, and it does not oxidize at all on me. So if you can get your hands on it, hurry up and get it, because there's some kind of crazy viral issues with this. You know, I've heard stories that Kylie Jenner uses it, then I saw she doesn't use it, her makeup artist said she doesn't use it, and then somebody told me they saw it on TikTok where she says she does love it, and it is her favorite, so who knows. I wanted to show you a little bag that I just bought in the mall at um, just a shoe store called Call It Spring, and I saw it about a month ago, and I go, wow, that looks a lot like the Bottega Veneta handbag, and you know, I thought, oh, I don't I'd rather have a real one, of course, who wouldn't? But I'm not purchasing another faddish bag for that kind of money. And so I thought, what the hell? I bought a cute little purse for $31. And look, it is, it is very smart looking. And it's bigger than my little Michael Kors crossbody that I've been carrying around for two years through COVID. It's, I have a really weird thing. I don't wear my good handbags because I'm always worried I have to wash them and sanitize them. So I was wearing the Michael Kors little hand crossbody, like I like I said, for two years because I couldn't care less if I had to um, clean it with alcohol or whatever. So, so this is a bit bigger and that's what I needed. Something, you know, crossbody but bigger because I need more than just a wallet in my purse. Like I need room for the sunglasses and some lipstick or whatever. So this looks pretty good for $31. So it looks pretty good. Why not? A little bit bigger, good crossbody. Yeah. Good shoulder strap and it's plastic, of course, vinyl, but it still looks cute. I decided to clear out a lot of my kitchen um, glasses, mugs, just clear it all out. I have such a big mess with a bunch of mishmash of glasses. Up here I left these. These were all from Mexico. My parents used to have a home there and I would take these back and I'm not getting rid of them because one day I will use them at a party or a pool party when I have a pool. and. So I ended up buying new mugs, white ones. I kept these black and white ones because I like them. And I purchased these, um, oh, those I already had, these wine glasses, but they were in a different spot. And I got some tall and some short glasses from CB2. And uh, 
I really like these. These are like so different. I know they're very thin, but I just love the shape of them. My girlfriend had them and I always admired them when I went to her condo. So I copied her and I bought 10 tall ones and just six short ones. I had white dishes, as you can see up here. But what I did was I got rid of all my plates that were mishmashed again. I had white ones, I had black ones. So I bought, well, I, I bought a few more white ones, but they're all in the dishwasher. There's 12 white ones and I bought these bowls and I got 12 of them and 12 of these salad plates. And I bought these all at HomeSense, which would be like a home goods in the States. I got rid of all the plastic bowls, you know, just a mishmash of crap. And I bought a big humongous white bowl and these are really nice, the shape of them. And my girlfriend, of course, had had this as well. She got it one day when I was looking for them and I saw her get them and there was none left. So I had to go search in other stores and I got some small ones. I got two white platters and I bought one big, like a more of a deep platter. So, you know, when you need to do uh, special dinners like Christmas, Thanksgiving, and I got these two really long platters. And I had a bunch of platters, all different colors and, you know, different themes for Christmas and roosters. And I didn't like them anymore. So I wish I could get rid of everything in this kitchen. Even though people love it, I'm sick of, I'm sick of it. I like a bit more modern and I like a little bit of farmhouse, but not too much and more modern and clean. One day for now, I'm lucky I have a roof over my head. We can complain all we want about what we do want, but we're lucky to have anything, right? We should be grateful for what we have and stop complaining. I try not to complain and I don't complain. I just, I see nicer things, more modern and I want it as well, but it's still pretty. You know what I'd love to do in this kitchen? I'd like to get Ikea cabinets with the drawers and a white quartz uh, countertop for sure. And then change the backsplash, even though I loved it for, I've had it for 10 years, but I just like something more modern now. And a white quartz countertop would just make it Don't do that. I know, but I'm trying to twist it. Oh, you so Where's Logan? I can't find him. He must be swimming somewhere. There's the baby. Huh, oh, that's my house. My other house. By the beach. I love, love this cute little boathouse in Port Sydney near Huntsville. Such a beautiful little beach. I love that island over here. I love cottage life. One day I'm going to have a cottage. Even a rental is good for me. So this is the house that attaches to that boathouse that I found. It's beautiful. Goes out in the back. So pretty. I'd love to decorate that house. This is spooky. Some old little cottage house. Look. Look at this little haunted. door. It's probably haunted. Going downhill. Oh, a nice pontoon. Look at this. Some cute pontoons here. Look at these two cute little rocking chairs in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure who put them there, but they would be so cute to sit down and look at the lake. 